Spring Growth. G'day plant lovers, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kathy. For my return visitors, thank you guys so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. And yes, this is hat number four. I just love them. <laughs> I can't get enough of them. I honestly want to order more, but I really think four has to be my limit. For now anyway. Okay, so today, I wanted to show you some spring growth on my plants. It is mid spring in Melbourne, which is wonderful and everything is just growing like crazy. I am just loving seeing them doing so well. Even those that I was struggling with earlier during winter are actually doing a little bit better now, which makes me very happy. First off, I wanted to show you this. This is my Peperomia Marmorata Dark Sunrise, which as you guys know, I am totally in love with. It is actually flowering. How wonderful is that? I've got a few Peperomias and I have bought several that were flowering when I brought them home and they continue to flower, but I've never had one that actually started flowering whilst in my care. So I'm very excited to see this one flowering. Isn't that just so interesting? This one is just spectacular. <laughs> I honestly am constantly drawn to it. Every time I go past here, which is every day, several times a day, I need to stop and look at it and just admire it. It is just beautiful. But clearly it's very happy, which makes me very happy. I haven't yet decided if I want to repot it because I think some of the soil is peat moss. But now that it's actually flowering, I kind of don't want to touch it. So I think I may wait and see how it goes. And then I will consider whether I want to repot it. Perhaps next time I'm repotting, I'll take it out and at least have a look at the soil. And if I don't like the peat, then I'll get rid of it and I'll repot it. And the second one is one you have probably heard me talking about, but you actually haven't seen it in a while. So I thought I would show you. This is my Peperomia obtusifolia jade. <laughs> Can you see just how big it is? It will not stop growing. It grew throughout winter and it has easily tripled in size, if not more. It is a little top heavy, but like the lemon and lime, I'm very reluctant to cut these. I just love that they're doing so well. I am pretty sure this one needs a repot because it's a tiny little pot and yet so much foliage. So I think I will be at least taking it out of the pot and having a look if it does need a repot and it is still just growing and growing as you can see here and all these babies here and here and here it, it will just not stop growing and I do believe that the leaves get bigger and bigger as they grow because these leaves are just massive and I know a lot of people say that peperomias only grow in winter well definitely not in Australia mine grow throughout the year so I do wonder if perhaps our climate or the fact that we're in the southern hemisphere is why they grow all year regardless I don't mind I just love watching them grow I actually just gave all my plants last week I think some Charlie's carp fish fertilizer I'm actually running an experiment last year I wasn't entirely convinced that Charlie's Carp Fish Fertilizer was that effective. That's not to say that the plants didn't like it, but I noticed more growth with sea salt, the seaweed extract solution that I use on my plants throughout the year. So I thought this year, I'm not going to give them sea salt, well, at least for the next month or two, and I'll just give them the Charlie's Carp and see how they respond to it. 
But of course, this isn't a perfect experiment because it's spring and everything grows through spring. So I guess I'll see how they do over the next couple of months. But yes, this is my stunning, beautiful Peperomia obtusifolia jade. Highly recommend this plant. It is just as easy as the lemon and lime. And it really is just gorgeous, don't you think? Oh, I just love it. The third thing that has grown like crazy for me this spring and also partly in winter is my Sansevieria trifasciata or Dracaena trifasciata. I actually went back and looked at my May houseplant tour. I wanted to see what my plants looked like then so I could do a comparison with now. And my snake plant has definitely grown at least a foot. It is crazy. I wouldn't have thought it would grow so much in winter. And especially since it is at least four meters back from an east facing window. And I'm going to show you what it looks like now because I am just amazed at how much this plant has grown. It is just gorgeous. Honestly, I can never get enough of my snake plants. I think they are just beautiful, beautiful plants. I often do stop and look at it because I love the markings on the leaves so much. I did not fertilize this plant throughout winter. And in fact, I think it was at least two and a half to three months between waterings because it was always at least a little moist. And yet this plant just continued to grow and all the babies are growing as well. I did have this one outside last spring and summer and it grew by leaps and bounds, but I honestly thought it would stop growing once it was indoors and it didn't. I don't know if I want to put it back outside because I really do love looking at it and it is still growing indoors. So I'm actually thinking of putting my other snake plant, my Laurentii, which has the yellow bandings outside this spring and summer and letting that one grow. So yes, I might do that this year and keep my green version inside. The next plant I wanted to show you is this. This is my Cressula Diane. I just love this plant. This is gorgeous. When I bought this, it was probably not even a 10 centimeters pot around about 10 centimeters, which is what I think four inch pot. And I potted it up into a pot without a drainage hole together with my blue chalk sticks, which last year did not grow, but this year have not stopped growing. And it got so big that it was sending out aerial roots and it was clearly too jam packed in this small pot. So I divided it. I kept some in the old blue pot and the rest I put into this terracotta pot and it was not this full when I put it in there and I have actually had to separate this again. So this plant has actually been split three times. This cannot stop growing. It is just gorgeous. But I have noticed that the part I left in the blue pot has got a different color tinge to the leaves, which I assumed was because it was sun stressed. But I put this one on the windowsill next to that one and it did not get that sun stressed look. These are more a green color. I don't mind either way. I think this is just gorgeous the way it is. But it is interesting that part of the plant is a different color to another part of it. I also have a, I guess this is what people call a story time. Yes, I have a story I wanted to tell you guys about this plant. When I divided it the first time, actually, you know what? I think I've divided this four times. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I actually think I've divided this four times. <laughs> I thought it was three. Hmm. Anyway, so I split this the first time and it was still so full that I decided I should divide it again, which I did. And I gave a pot of it to a friend of mine who is also a carer. She helps people with disabilities and provides care for them. 
and she had the pot in her car when she was visiting one of her clients and the client noticed it and just fell in love with the plant. This girl loved the plant so much that my friend decided to gift it to her, which I thought was wonderful. Just a perfect example of planty kindness. If you guys don't know what the planty kindness project is, do a search with the hashtag and you will find out. Or you can go and have a look at Pammy's Planty Things as she started the tag, which is, I think, a wonderful concept of being kind to another person. But I just love that story. And I really love that a part of my plant is with someone who is really loving this plant and enjoying it and growing it in her home. So yes, this is my beautiful Cressler Diane. This one is growing like crazy and I am loving it. You guys may not be aware, but I am a leaf petter. I love petting my leaves. <laughs> and what more could you want than the philodendron micans? Oh, isn't this just a beautiful plant? They really are like velvet, these leaves, and they are stunning. When they come out, they have this beautiful kind of reddish tinge to the back of them and if the light hits them you can actually see that reddish tinge through the leaf itself honestly this has got to be one of my all-time favorite plants not just because I love patting my leaves but simply because it is beautiful and it is growing <laughs> like crazy for me look at that when I bought this, which was maybe a bit less than six months ago, it was not trailing, or it was just a tiny little bit. And all of this, I would say, from here, and I will give you close-ups because I'm sure I won't get it right, but all of this is new growth. And this grew throughout winter for me as well but lately it has just put on a big spurt and it's starting to get a little bit tangled and I'm worried that I'm damaging the leaves because there's a lot of stuff where it's currently sitting. Yeah, I have definitely damaged some of the leaves, which is a bit of a shame. I don't want it to climb. I actually am finding I'm really loving trailing plants at the moment probably because I didn't really have many before and now that I've got a few that are growing like crazy I'm just loving this look of them trailing down or cascading down like a waterfall I love it I actually want to hang this closer to my window my north facing window because I think it might grow bigger leaves than it is at the moment it's just so beautiful. I don't know because I really love seeing it here because I see it all the time and I just stop and look at it or pet its leaves. <laughs> and I might end up propagating some of these legia portions. I don't know yet. It's still a fairly new plant in my house. Like I said, I think I've had it six months, but it is a very happy plant, which makes me happy. I just love that it is so happy. Now I have a lot of other plants that are doing really well at the moment. They're just growing like crazy because it is spring here. But I thought I would keep those for a houseplant tour, which I'm not intending to do until probably the end of spring or the start of summer. I thought that might be a good time to show you how my plants are doing. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate that you take the time to watch my videos. Now, I would also like to hear if any of your plants are doing really well at the moment. And you can let me know down in the comments or you can contact me on Instagram. Again, thank you very, very much for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Until next time, take care guys. Bye.